Alfonso. We have gone. We've got off the vehicle. We moved a couple of hundred meters down. We spotted some kudus. Man, but they're wary. It's early morning. As you can see, the sun has just come up. Man. It's so dense that we are really struggling to get a close-up shot. We spot them about a hundred meters out, crossing the roads. And then we try and get off, put in a close-up stalk. And um, they're just so wary, man. But let's see what we can find. Welcome back to another episode of Bows, Guns, Rods and Reels. I've got my brother William with me today. We went out bass fishing yesterday. We had a, such a fantastic time. This weekend is all about hunting, fishing. We're gonna see if we're gonna do a uh, McNabb weekend. Bass fishing, kudu bull. Hopefully today if everything goes well. And later on this afternoon, maybe a guinea fowl or pheasant or something with an air gun. So guys, stay tuned, stick around. It's gonna be an epic day. One of the rarest sightings you'll find is the art wolf. Oh man, what a magnificent animal. They eat termites, especially the harvester termite, no other insects, and they also don't eat any meat. What a rare sighting. Here are two red otter beast bulls just having a go at each other as mating season is on its way and they are fighting for dominance to get to the herd of females. Males can weigh up to about 180 kilograms, females about to 140 kilograms, and then also the females uh, have a gestation period of about eight months and you can distinguish them between the males they are a bit smaller and also have thinner horns we just don't seem to find the big male Man. we've been tracking them for quite some time there's a young young bull let's see if we can get a closer shot but they've spotted us already look at this beautiful giraffe bull he must have been in a fight somehow as you can see his left ear has been shredded something got hold of him try to catch him giraffe males get up out up to 1.4 tons which is a thousand four hundred kilograms and have a lifespan of 28 years right so after we've finally got close enough to these kudus there wasn't a bull that was shootable all young bulls the big bulls are on their own herds at the moment they are not with the cows that's just that's just part of the hunting that's, that's how it works. Um, yeah. We're going to get back to the vehicle, see if we can move to a different location um, where there's maybe more leaves, where the kudus like to browse, maybe up in the mountain areas. We have some nice mountains around. We've got a, a long day ahead of us. So yeah, let's see what we can find. And then all of a sudden, boom, there he appears. Man, what a magnificent bull. And William takes the shot. Bow's got rods and reels.
Thank donkey. Well done. Well, that was a great shot. We were driving around for quite some time. Found this kudu bull. Normally like the ghost of the bush felt, hiding away. Saw him. William put in a beautiful shot. Broke his neck. Man, what a fantastic bull. Big bull. .308 caliber normally which is I think the most beautiful caliber for the bushveld saw the kudu bull ghost of the bushveld William took in a beautiful shot put him underneath his chin boom broke his neck put him down in his place well done what Thank a you. great shot what if it's been such a privilege going with my brother fishing for a whole weekend going out hunting man it's been fantastic the children all with what a beautiful beautiful weekend we've had this is going to be a lot of meat it will be pulling us through the whole december times so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video my name is evan smith you're watching bows guns rods and reels and remember shoot straight fish are cheers